39 Detroit public schools are on the list of the 98 underachieving public schools in Michigan. Once a school is on the list, it must develop and implement an approved redesign plan. That plan must be submitted to state officials within the next 90 days. This is the second year Michigan published the list of low achieving schools. Now, a vote that was just taken should go a long way in turning around those rankings. DPS emergency manager Roy Roberts just announced the hiring of the state's first chancellor of schools. Action News reporter Val Clark is live in the News Center area with the latest for us. Val? And Joanne, his initial focus will be Detroit schools. However, the state's first ever chancellor will eventually be responsible for all Michigan schools with special emphasis on low performing schools. Here he is. He's Dr. John Covington, just voted in unanimously by the governor's Education Achievement Authority. He comes from Kansas City, Missouri, where frankly he's credited with what amounts to a miraculous turnaround in just one year for that school district. He resigned two days ago, and some board members there are livid about the abrupt departure. One says the district has been, quote, ill-used by Covington. Here's his reaction. I do understand that they're disappointed uh, that I am coming to Detroit, but uh, that's kind of part of it sometimes. You believe you did this, though? You did this legally and above board? And oh, they're absolutely. Saying, what about them being ill-used with your... your no, I, I wouldn't say that when you look at the... Um, that wouldn't be my opinion. Uh, when you look at the progress uh, that we've made over a short uh, uh, period of time. This was a very valuable man in Kansas City, and they're very sad to see him go. Uh, if he was not good, you wouldn't see this kind of uproar. And Dr. Covington's official last day for Kansas City is September 23rd. Mr. Roberts said they are now in, in the process of negotiating a start date here in Michigan. Reporting live from Detroit's New Center area, Val Clark, Channel 7, Action News. Thank you.